Giants Browns Giants got the dub on the road 21 to 15 a really difficult team to play against the Cleveland Browns especially at home Jim Schwartz really does a lot of different things defensively to trick quarterbacks to confuse quarterbacks and also to just they are a physical football team that can get after the passer on each and every snap especially with the best, one of the best pass rushers in Miles Garrett uh, playing defensive end for them uh, the Giants I think did a lot of a lot of cool things offensively too uh, try to slow down this Cleveland Browns pass rush. Uh, didn't run the ball all that effectively, but still stayed patient enough to call a few run plays in a few key situations to keep drives alive, and then also just to make sure that they were staying balanced offensively. Uh, this was really the uh, a tough way to start the football game for Daniel Jones in this situation, and you know this is one that fortunate it went the Giants' way with a defensive penalty that allowed the Giants to hold on to the football here, but. We have a three by one formation against the Cleveland Browns. And, you know, right from the, the pre snap look here, it, it looks almost like we're getting some sort of man coverage, right? So everyone is head up over the guy that they're they're potentially defending here in man coverage with single safety middle. So it's some sort of single safety middle zone or man look for the Cleveland Browns. And what's really cool about this look is at the snap, we get a totally different change in picture. The guy that was covering over number two in the slot here, he is blitzing off the edge. Backer over here is blitzing off the edge. So we are getting some sort of five-man pressure because this play side defensive end, uh, this field defensive end, is dropping in zone. And these two corners on both sides are actually going to be deep half defenders. Deep half, flat defender here in the boundary. And then this middle safety is actually going to fire, and he will be the flat defender over here to the field. This backer here will essentially be the two Tampa Mike linebacker playing in the middle here. And Daniel Jones goes to Malik Neighbors here in the boundary. Kind of gets spooked here by Coromora going over there and working towards him. So he tries to reset and move off of that. By the time he comes back, he has a free runner running right at him and then just tries to throw the quick stick route here to the tight end as quickly as possible. And it's intercepted. And fortunately for the Giants, again, we get uh, a little bit of a roughing the passer, hands to the face penalty, which allows them to keep the football. Uh, and really in this look, the only answer probably for Daniel Jones would have been to just throw Wondell Robinson the football right now uh, at the now route at the line of scrimmage for a completion. But fortunate to avoid this early snafu. And uh, the Giants able to hold on to the football in this situation. But you can kind of see, too, just how – you know, it, it's a difficult look to play against, right, for the quarterback to see. He's thinking he's getting some sort of weak side five-man rush here with this pressure, with man coverage behind it, with this safety playing in the middle. And then at the snap, everything completely changes, tries to react late as he's being hit, pulls the football a little bit so it gets away from him and throws the interception. But, again, fortunately, it didn't count, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> All right, third and seven. And like most NFL football games for the road team, it's really just kind of like endure the first quarter, all right, especially against a defense like this with the talent that they have, but then also, too, the defensive coordinator who does a lot of wild stuff defensively. So we're getting some sort of single safety middle look again, uh, three deep look. Get a quick motion here. And we have someone traveling with the motion. Right, so that makes us think that it's potentially man coverage. Goes with the motion, and typically when we have that, we think it's man, but he doesn't line up head up over him. So, again, this is Cleveland going with the motion but still playing de uh, zone defense behind it. It is three deep, three deep, four under defense, and the Giants have like a little return route here at the top, shallow cross by the tight end, and then two end cuts here. Uh, to the field and as soon as we see this 3d four under look uh, I would say just like you know got to bang the return right now put it on him again the linebacker is pushing uh, the safety mean excuse me is pushing towards that that return route so Dana Jones doesn't like it but realistically you probably should have been just kind of reading this over under here with the shallow to the two in cuts um, but again Dana Jones doing a good job of manipulating the pocket Pocket collapse very quickly in this look. He's able to scramble and, and get the completion to set up the third and short situation. And you'll see, too, how quickly 
this pocket collapses on Daniel Jones. Here's Miles Garrett, uh, really disruptive when he was in the football game, uh, got injured in this game, so he wasn't playing as many snaps as he normally does. Four-man rush, four under right here, well covered. You can potentially see that if we were looking at this weak side read here uh, with the shallow cross, that maybe we could have hit this in cut right behind him. But, you know, that being said, Coram Morrow is one of the wiser and more athletic linebackers in the league. He, he would have been right there in this vicinity too. Uh, again, look at Miles Garrett just collapsing this pocket, forcing Daniel Jones off the spot. Daniel Jones does a good job sliding up, protecting, and at least salvaging the play for a completion here. Fourth and one. And, and this is why you go out and get a guy like Malik Neighbors. We got a basically like a 13 personnel type of look, or 12 personnel, excuse me. Um, and no, actually, it's 11, excuse me. It's 11 personnel, one tight end, three receivers in the football game, tight splits by everybody. We're going to run a speed sweep here by Malik Neighbors. And he does a good job of just basically outrunning everyone all the way across the football field. Uh, for the two-yard gain for the first down. So tight splits. Everyone is trying to pinch down on the defense to make sure that they are playing their gaps. Uh, and then the Giants really doing a good job of just getting a hat for a hat, especially play side over here. They actually leave this def defensive tackle completely unblocked in this look. And Malik Neighbors does a good job of just sprinting to that sideline and getting the first down, keeping the drive going which was key too. this was ends up being a 13 play drive, 81 yards for a touchdown. 12 personnel look, two tight ends, two receivers, one back in the backfield, 12 speaks to the uh, two tight ends and then one back. Uh, single safety middle look again by the Cleveland Browns. Get a inside pressure look. And then these are plays that I think Dayball did a really good job of calling for Daniel Jones and the, and the Giants offense. An over-aggressive defense, trying to play fast, trying to play physical. They run that pressure, and they're faking inside zone, then to halfback screen here to the weak side. Really good blocking upfield here. And unbelievable defensive play right there. I think that was Hicks there that was able to uh, get through. Yeah, Jordan Hicks, 58, played a solid football game. Crowd in the line of scrimmage. There's Miles Garrett again, already in the backfield. Good job by Daniel Jones, retreating softly, trying to buy time for his halfback. Good soft throw to the halfback there. And then he's able to get up the field. And you see Hicks doing a good job of uh, beating his man and and make an attack on a play that really probably should have gone for more. Second and 16, empty formation, one tight end, four receivers, and uh, trying to really like clean up the picture for Daniel Jones to see the field. Get some sort of quarters uh, over here into the field. So it's quarter, quarter, flat defender here by the backer. And then we have a cloud look with a deep, too high safety on this side. Flat defender over here. And actually, it's really, he's, he's playing it almost like he's playing uh, quarters coverage here. So Daniel Jones sees this, right? This vacant middle here, right? Versus quarters look and versus quarters, right? With this empty look, safety's going to stack number two. Corner's going to stack number one out here. Mike Linebacker is pretty much responsible for number three here in the slot. So Mike Linebacker is going to attach right here to the seam route right here. And, and Daniel Jones does a good job of just, my guy is going to cross face here and win over this uh, person over here over the slot. Good football. Well thrown right over the middle. Wondell Robinson doing the rest. Wondell just, they got to keep finding ways uh, to get him the football. Um, and there was definitely a few missed opportunities for Wandell in this one, too. You know, just him and Daniel not, not connecting on some big plays. But here's the seam right here by the tight end. Backer takes it. And now Wandell Robinson is replacing that area, crossing face. Really good, well-thrown football right there over the middle. 
for the completion to keep the drive going. So first and 10. And these are the things that you got to prepare for. Again, for Daniel Jones, uh, even though he's coming off the injury, still athletic, still can move, did a good job of manipulating the pocket in the game, uh, scramble for some yards every now and then too. Uh, so just a simple zone read, reading this play side defensive end, he crashes down the line, Daniel Jones pulls it. Got a holding call on this one, I don't know, pretty questionable, but maybe I'm just a homer. Uh, this one was coming back. But looks again that I think that got to continue to do these things for Daniel Jones to get him in rhythm in the game and to take advantage of his athleticism in the running game because uh, the Giants still uh, finding their way with their new offensive line and, and trying to develop uh, a cohesive run-blocking unit. So after the penalty, first and 20, get a motion. Late movement again at the line of scrimmage. Single safety, middle look again. Daniel Jones, right, get the pressure right here off to the field. Defensive end to the boundary is actually dropping, so we're getting some sort of three deep, three under fire zone look from Schwartz. And the Giants run a, a simple, like, snag concept here where it's just uh, outside receiver runs a snag. This inside guy runs typically a seam or a corner, and then the back out of the backfield is running it flat. Good throw and rhythm right there. Outside shoulder target. Good accurate throw. Able to catch the ball and get up the field for a good gain. So here we have that pressure unblocked off the edge. It's actually just a simple four-man rush. Defensive end to the boundary is dropping. Three deep, three under fire zone. Good catch out of the backfield for a good gain. And those are the type of rhythm throws I think Daniel Jones did a good job of, of not missing uh, in this football game. Third and three situation here for the New York Giants. We get motion, man travels across, so we're thinking some sort of man coverage, potentially, but again, it's not, right? They actually drop into a zone look. So this is just, again, something where, you know, like young QBs, you think, oh, he's stacked over him, he's stacked over him over here, and then he travels with him in this motion, it's got to be some sort of man coverage. And, and Schwartz doing a good job of, of again, kind of mixing up the looks for his, for his defense and for the quarterback so they don't play fast. It's actually a too high look over here. So deep half safety on this side, hook defender here, middle, and then strong hook. And we get some sort of like quarters look right here. And the Giants are running essentially a slant flat concept. Uh, and then they have Hank. So it's going to be a hook by the tight end, another hook here by the receiver, and then a flat route right here into the flat. And, you know, at first you would think, okay, just throw the, the quick slant or flat here. But since it's a too high type of look here, you know, Daniel Jones can't trust the fact that this corner is going to continue on with the slant here. He might fall off and be you know, waiting for that flat defender, uh, the flat route. So he does a good job of passing it up, going to the strong side here to this hang concept. And, and it's a difficult look because, you know, Cleveland really could cover this up by the way that they play it. Backer here has the tight end. He's gloved up. And then really these two guys are essentially doubling this receiver with this linebacker playing the flat. And Daniel Jones does a good job of just, powering the football in there for the curl and you'll see to the rpms on this look pre-snap again a lot of communication for the giants you know on the front line too because it's a 4-2 double a look right and that we know that we have a five-man route so daniel jones knows that he can't play too many games here with his read if they do pressure six men versus the five-man uh, offensive line group that they have you could see that right from the start, he is thinking, okay, maybe I'll go to my slant flat because I'm expecting pressure at the line of scrimmage. They don't get that. He sees that drop and that deep set, deep half safety go. He resets back and gets through his progression really quickly and throws an absolute missile for the completion. 
really good look right there. And again, signs that Daniel Jones is is feeling better and more confident uh, with the reps that he's getting this season so far. First and 10 look for the Giants. Single safety middle again. Another good play call by Dayball. Over aggressive defense, right? Three deep, four under look. We got a four man rush. This defense wants to crush and stop the run and win at the line of scrimmage. All right, so let them. All right. Little token fake here. Half roll to the field. And we're just setting up half back screen here across. Really good blocking by everybody. Schmidt's getting out here from the center position, doing a good job putting his guy on the ground. Look at the weak side safety, though, how fast he gets over here to make this tackle and to slow down Singletary from scoring here. But good play call. Another easy completion for your quarterback to feel confident, to gain more confidence, and to slow down, too, just this over-aggressive defense. Uh, really good job. Good patience, good upfield uh, shoulder throw there so the running back can just catch it and get vertical right away. And then really good blocking by the O-line, too. Sealing that off. Schmitz again with the block on the outside. Neighbor straining right there, too. If we can make this one guy miss, is a touchdown. Really good football play by the New York Giants. Second and one. This is actually the uh, the touchdown here. All right, so we're, we're basically just saying, all right, we're going we're gonna to try to punch it in right through the middle here. And, uh, you know, just, just to kind of show everybody, too, just like how good this defense is. Uh, they're all, everyone's pinching down and blocking down, essentially, hat for a hat as best as they possibly can. Here's uh, Cora Morrow off the edge. He'll be just, you know, bending right down the line, right off the heels of the tight end. He almost makes the play. Here's Miles Garrett, you know, and the tight end in a really tough position here. You know, you got to try to get your hat across as best as you possibly can. But uh, that is Miles Garrett. He's able to knife through and get in the backfield and get a hit on the back. Uh, but fortunately enough uh, drive there at the line of scrimmage to get the, the touchdown on this look. So this is, this is the running lane right here. But look how quickly everyone collapses. Right. And it's just amazing, too. Like, this is what's so cool about the NFL. It's like this is a a huge running lane, you know, for a touchdown right here. And then it's not there, you know, in, in the blink of an eye. That's how good these football players are. That's how tough these guys are, too. Way to punch it in from a, from a yard out for the touchdown. First and ten. Like the moving by the Giants too. Make this defense communicate. Make them shift. Make them move. We go to a little tight end wing set slot formation. And again, a lot of moving parts, but just faking zone to throw a little halfback swing screen here. And uh, I think, again, just another good way to get your quarterback an easy completion uh, and to get your guys out in space to just get this defense moving sideline to sideline a little bit more so they just can't pin their ears back and get after the passer. Good throw, good blocking on the outside there. Good execution by the Giants on first down. And, you know, for QBs too, I like to just really soft feet, feet underneath him, graceful throw, right? But it's not soft. He's still... Kind of puts it puts it on, on, on a, a strong line to the halfback. And the halfback, the key for that is just not stopping or slowing down whatsoever, able to catch and run immediately. All right, so second and 11 uh, in this situation. And these are all cut-ups just like from different plays that I thought were interesting just to share with you guys uh, throughout the football game. So it's uh, it's not actually – uh, chronologically through the football game. It's just uh, a few clips that I thought were interesting to share. Probably should have said that earlier in the cut up. Uh, so we send the back out and then we return him back just to get some sort of a indicator as like, is it man? Is it zone? And uh, right now, again, this is like one of those funky looks that Schwartz is giving us where uh, it, it has, you know, some semblance that it looks like it's man coverage right? Maybe even cover zero. Uh, but again, it's one of those mix and match coverages where he is giving you the look of man, 
pre-snap. And then he is going to drop again into an inverted two look where this corner is playing this deep half. This corner is playing this deep half. This safety right here is essentially the Tampa two Mike. The backer, I mean, the uh, nickel right here is the flat defender. And then over here, Okomura is the flat defender as well. And, you know, the same thing. We get a blitz off the edge here, but it's just a four-man rush. So just a four-man rush with the play side or field side defensive end dropping. And even though it's a four-man rush, because of the funky look that they gave us, the Giants have a free runner. So Daniel Jones is essentially forced to throw hot because of this look and throw to the swing. And I know Schwartz is probably in his defensive meeting saying we wanted him to throw to the swing and still we did not make the tackle in this one-on-one -on -one situation with one of our, our best linebackers in space. Uh, so this was a uh, really good execution by the Cleveland Browns to force this hot throw. And really good just by the Johnnies and Joes, so to speak, of the New York Giants just getting it done, Singletary to the backfield. Uh, and Daniel Jones, again, throwing an accurate football to the flat and allowing him to then just catch and run and make the, the free guy miss there. So really good play. Third and three. Motion. Traveling. Man coverage. But again, we've seen a few times that even though they travel with him, it's not always man coverage. In this case, though, it is a type of man coverage. And... What I like about this is, you know, Daniel Jones just throwing an accurate football again. It's slant flat. Ideally, you know, I'm sure Dayball in the meeting room is saying, all right, we have off corner here with a tight split by the receiver here. You know, let's just throw Slate in the football on this speed out and be done with this play, right, versus this single safety look. And uh, for whatever reason, he doesn't. He decides to go to the field side here with neighbors on the slant. Wandell with the flat route. But good job by Wandell catching the football, getting up the field right away, making one guy miss uh, and getting some tough yards. And then, you know, having a little attitude at the end, though, too. And that's that's, again, why I love 17 and why I want them to find more ways to get him the football, because he brings a, a certain level of that attitude on the outside for this team. But again, even too, just the Browns just making a simple concept like this really, really tough to defend. And you can see, too, in this quick game, we tried to chop the defensive end, right, because they're really good pass rushers and just get the football out of your hands and let your playmakers do the rest. First and 10 situation. Three tight ends, one receiver, one back. And this is a, a play action pass here. First and 10. We're trying to, you know, make it seem like we're trying to be aggressive in the running attack here on first and 10, but it's actually play pass. We're going to get some sort of three level vertical here. So high, medium, low, right? And really, again, when you're playing against Schwartz, you have to be alert for corner blitzes, cat blitzes, you know, any edge blitz. And in this type of look, we have a tight end here. Tight ends going in motion across to be another sift extra blocker. But the corner here blitzes from depth. He doesn't see him. Daniel Jones, great job. Chin to shoulder, getting his eyes around quickly. And then just checking this football off right away for a completion. So these were the plays where, again, that the, the Browns really kind of dictating and forcing the Giants to react quickly and get the football out of their hands quickly. But Daniel Jones, good sudden instincts, soft catchable football to the back. He's able to get vertical for at least a solid gain there on first down. Good play fake. Everyone's towards that line of scrimmage. Now linebackers are turning and running to get back into their zone positions. But since this corner triggered right here, free runner. And again, this is, you know, what's frustrating too, right, is that, you know, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven guys blocking, and yet, uh, the Cleveland Browns are getting home with just five. But that is the ability of a good defense coordinator, Jim Schwartz, and just creating havoc and 
and confusing teams and uh, you know, really putting the rules of the Giants' offensive line uh, and testing them each and every play. You know, and this is essentially one of the better runs of the day for the New York Giants here, right? And, and this is where it was tough sledding in the run game, but Dayball did a really good job of being patient in the running game. Uh, we get some sort of over defensive alignment, right, by uh, the Cleveland Browns. Uh, we got a Wusu Koromora right here. That's essentially like in a choke alignment. So he is head up on the tight end. Uh, and they're just going to crowd the line of scrimmage, right? A gap, B gap, C gap, D gap defender, right? With the safety, everyone lined up close to the line of scrimmage. And, you know, again, the Giants, good job getting a hat for a hat, right? Everyone's kind of pinching down to play their gap. They push them where they want to go essentially so good job blocking down down head up right there against the backer just gets enough of them right there right for then the running back to run through and get get some tough yards there for the first down first and 10 So first and 10 again, you know, we're lined up in a, a running set, right? Close to the line of scrimmage, single, single safety middle again, uh, a crowded box, right? So essentially a nine-man box here uh, by the Cleveland Browns, and they're going to make sure that they're stopping the run on first down. They're going to fake toss to the boundary, get a, a little sprint out action here by Daniel Jones. It's so going to be a simple flat with an over route and then a delay flat here. Cleveland Browns are all over it. This defender is trying to play that down flat that slows down. Daniel Jones does a good job of just getting what he can with his legs on first down. Fake toss. Flat right away. He gets out leverage, tries to slow down. Probably could have just popped the football right here to neighbors, right, and get, get a few tough yards. But he got a little too greedy trying to play back and right. And Daniel Jones just outflanks him and gets gets a few yards with his feet. Third and five situation for the Giants. So again, this is a, a, a funky look here. We get single safety middle. And we have, again, the presentation of some sort of zone coverage, right? No one travels with him in this look, so definitely thinking some sort of zone here. Uh, and, again, the the Cleveland Browns going from single safety middle to essentially a, a too high look here, right, with their safeties. Um, this guy ends up being the flat defender. Deep half, deep half, flat defender, hook, middle hook. And then, again, dropping the boundary defensive end. So, again, it's only a five-man rush with the backer at – I mean, four-man rush with the backer adding. And uh, Daniel Jones, again, just, you know, thinks he has a clean idea of what the picture is. It changes again immediately at the snap. He does a good job of buying time. Miles Garrett is bearing down on him, and he just hits Malik Neighbors here on this little quick hook route. Good completion there versus a very tough look for the New York Giants. You can see, too, just like, you know, a flash of the color jersey there for Daniel Jones. He feels this pressure, right, and just going to naturally kind of slide away from it. And as he does, Malik Neighbor is just finding that soft spot right behind the zone defender. And again, the zone defender, if his eyes are on the quarterback and you get behind the zone defender, you know, just, just find that open space behind him. Good job catching it and getting vertical. Second and eight. So we got a motion again. Travels with him. All right, we've been duped a few times here where it's travel with him, it's man, it's zone, we're not sure. And here we go. We finally get just like a pure man coverage look uh, by the Cleveland Browns, right? So finally, Daniel Jones kind of seeing exactly what he thinks that he's seeing. We got off coverage here, man coverage here, man, man, right? Single safety middle. 
Uh, you know, and this is one of those where uh, Slayton, man, he misses out on, uh, you know, a, a great double move here. A little quick out. Does a good job selling with his eyes and shoulders right to the sideline. Corner triggers, and he is putting his foot in the ground and then driving up the field. Could have potentially been a huge play for him uh, and wins on this route really quickly. Um, you know, again, though, Daniel Jones doesn't look in his direction. He goes to the side of Malik Neighbors and Wandell Robinson. Wandell is just running a little, little quick out route. Malik Neighbors is running a hitch and go versus press coverage. Doesn't quite sell it, maybe enough. Really good coverage, though, in the boundary. Four man rush right by the Cleveland Browns. This backer looks like he's kind of adding on, but he's just playing man-to-man -man coverage against the running back. But just look how collapsed the pocket is already for Daniel Jones. He's sliding, drives the football off his back foot as much as he can to Malik Neighbors in this one-on-one -on -one situation. And Malik Neighbors rewards him with making, you know, really uh, one of the better catches of the day here. Really good defense and is able to climb the ladder and pull this football away from the corner who defended it extremely well. Goes the neighbors right away. Next time, you know, I'm sure maybe Dave Ball is speaking to him like, hey, versus that off look there with an out route, the, the corner is more uh, prone to, to, you know, triggering and, and attacking the out, which gives Slayton the advantage in a double move like that. But he goes the neighbor side, and this is why you draft guys like neighbors. Collapse pocket again. It's messy as hell. But Daniel Jones does a good job firing it. Great catch there by neighbors. Contested. You know, I'd say the only thing right for neighbors is just like trying to hold that line a little bit better, but it doesn't matter. Way to make the tough catch right there. And those are the plays, too, that the Giants have been missing out on in the outside for the past few years, and it's good to see those plays being rewarded. Uh, in the Giants' favor this season. So wasn't sure if it was a catch, right? They huddle up to the line of scrimmage. Uh, just a design play where everyone's running quick outs, right? So out, out, and then short hook. Wandell does a good job of sitting between two defenders. C2, split two. Daniel Jones puts it right on him. Split the two defenders, get vertical. For another good completion after you know the quote unquote wasn't sure if it was a catch or not and uh it turned out that it was a catch so it wouldn't have mattered if it was reviewed but qu good quick decisive throw by daniel jones good job by wandell finding that soft spot in the zone and getting the completion there So these are the type of throws, and I would say Daniel probably had maybe like three or four throws. You're like, man, you know, got got to got to hit those. Can't miss these opportunities, you know. And this is definitely one of them, right? So they're faking inside zone. Uh, we essentially have like a block them up and then throw the bubble here concept here to the to the field. It's verse man coverage. We don't like that concept. A cool look though off of this would be, you know, fake this. And then bluff and slant, bluff and slant as an option, uh, especially if we do get this look versus man coverage. Uh, this was something that I think uh, we did a lot with the Atlanta Falcons and, and Julio Jones and stuff like that when we had him in this Malik neighbors position where we knew we would get man or some sort of you know focus on him. All right, let them see that and then run a little bluff slant behind it to guys like Muhammad Sanu for completions. But we fake inside zone, and we're just getting Theo Johnson here into the back corner uh, it's basically just a one and done read for Daniel Jones. And, you know, these are ones where just like we can't miss these. Got to hit these no matter what. And I would say for Daniel, just in this look, when you when you see your guy has leverage here, don't think about throwing it up the field. Think about throwing it more, you know, towards the sideline here, you know, about halfway through the end zone so he can run with full speed and go and get it. Daniel's just misses a, a Daniel just misses a little vertical. Right. And that's what makes it a little bit of a tough angle catch for Theo to make on this one. Good play call, though. I really like it a lot. Again, taking advantage of an over aggressive defense. 
uh, that really wants to, again, just stop the run and be aggressive and be in the backfield. That fake right there, they get the look that they want. Everyone's crowding the line of scrimmage. Theo's able to slip out behind the defense. And now it's just like, can we, can we throw it out here instead of in the back end line? Can we throw it towards the sideline a little bit more for him to run and go get it? So third and three, missed opportunity. We send neighbors in motion. And the Browns are playing essentially a type of red zone three coverage, right? So basically flat across the board. Uh, and, and it really is like a mix of man and zone with these three defenders in here. So these guys are kind of man up, man up, man up. And then these guys are basically all being like quarterback spies. It's two for the one back. And then he is playing the QB's eyes. Uh, we're going to get a hook route here. And then the two outside receivers are essentially diving in and they are running just like back end line uh, routes here. And what you're going to see is just Daniel Jones throwing this football to Malik Neighbors now as he just gets around this corner. But as he does that, he is getting just absolutely crushed by Miles Garrett here. And we've all seen this catch so far from Malik Neighbors. Great job going up and getting at high point in this football Man, what an awesome picture that is for Giants fans to see someone be able to make plays like that in the end zone for us. Got two feet in. Fantastic play right there by numero uno. Four-man rush. Daniel waiting. Just gets out, right? He's winding up to throw it at the release point crushed but did just enough to give this guy the opportunity and the catch right there versus the one-on-one -on -one coverage really good looking route right there by Malik, uh, Malik neighbors and good throw while being hit by Daniel Jones so first and 10 14 7 lead a little shift a little motion Man coverage, right? So all this is just window dressing to see, all right, what, what is the defensive look that we're getting? And then again, another indicator, what kind of defense are we getting? We've seen again, though, too, that Schwartz, he's given us this single safety middle look that could potentially be, you know, three deep fire zone or uh, single safety middle man. Uh, he's also done the same look where they've gone to no cover two. Uh, so here we get true man coverage. They go with the motion, and now it's just Daniel Jones faking this outside zone and ripping the slant out here to the field. And these will be more concepts, I think, that they will continue to use as they, they go forward in this offense. One-on-one -on -one coverage right there in the boundary. Malik Neighbors does a good job putting it on his body. And then Malik with the heads-up play, catching the football, putting his foot in the ground, and then getting out of bounds. Really good throw, really good catch, good transition up the field. First and 10, 26 seconds left. Some sort of a motion indicator again. That's a Wusu Koromora right there over the back. He walked out with him. He comes back in. Now we're thinking it's some sort of man coverage. So man on, man on, man on. He's got him. He's got him straight across the board with single safety in the middle. And then we are just running essentially like a, a pick route, right? Outside receiver is diving in, trying to somehow impede the guy that's covering the back. And this is why we did the coverage indicator to know who he has to pick in this concept. Does a good job of getting in the way, not making it obvious, just running a, you know, a, a distraction route. And then Daniel Jones throwing a football right on target upfield. For him to catch and get vertical and get out of bounds if for whatever reason this was zone coverage right that's where we're just reading this double under right or shin route short in first short in second short in to the corner uh and sometimes too you can alert this first man coverage as well good strong throw Would like to see Tracy catch this without having to turn his entire his body, but still, good catch, good job getting out of bounds. Second and five. A 
And, and here's a, a similar play again too. that three by one formation. We send the back right on a late motion right before the snap. We see that it's man coverage head up across the board. And now we have a five man box to run quarterback draw. So we want the defensive line to rush up the field like it's a passing situation. And then we are going to let our center lead up on the last remaining backer. And then Daniel Jones doing his best to just get vertical. Probably should have stayed towards the field here since Schmitz has inside leverage on this block. He's got his hat across. Stay following that block. Uh, but he cuts up the field. Still gets a good gain, though. Good job. Good play call. Really like it a lot. Again, taking advantage of Daniel Jones' skill set and athleticism. Really good job by the Giants' the, uh, offensive line, pushing everybody wide, thinking that it's an obvious passing situation against the defense that wants to rush the passer. Good play call right there. First and 10, motion. We get a little rock and roll action with the motion. And we are going to get some sort of uh, single high zone look here in the red zone right so it's the single safety right basically playing like deep thirds but you know again in low red zone everything kind of turns to man coverage and these guys are essentially just playing the middle of the field whatever comes across the safety triggers on this in cut right here and all we're getting uh is just a slant concept and a flat concept here in the boundary Malik Neighbors with the look that he gets does a good job of attacking the defender that actually is responsible for covering him. Attacks, kind of squares him up, and then does a good job of crossing face. And then Daniel Jones resets. And again, this is a, just Daniel Jones being strong in the pocket, pocket collapsing around him, and throwing a really strong throw high and hard to the back end line for Malik Neighbors to catch. Four-man rush. I think Daniel was – he might have thought that he would have had the flat right away to Wandell Robinson. They didn't – you know, they kind of passed it off, did a good job resetting, and then just an absolute missile to Malik Neighbors. Another good play by the new receiver and quarterback duo for the G-Men. So first and 10, start the third quarter. We're going to get like a little fake weak side counter action here. Long developing play action. We want this defense to really over pursue again into the backfield. And again, the over aggressive nature of this defense, they lose sight of the tight end. Bellinger getting out behind them. Bellinger, keep your hand down, bro. All right. We know you're open. All right. But it's a long developing pass for us, too, here. So, you know, I know Bellinger's excited and he's like, oh, I'm open right now. But uh, Daniel Jones just got his head around and is now seeing what the defense is doing. Uh, so this is one of those where it's a good completion. But, you know, going forward, just try to stay flat and friendly uh, with the quarterback, especially because he's getting uh, that depth and width off of a long developing boot play. Travels with him. We know that it's some sort of man coverage potentially. Good play action pass. A lot of bodies here at the line of scrimmage. They lose sight of the tight end. Good throw, but this is where it's kind of like stop running away from us, especially on a boot, right? You know, you don't know who is running over the top to defend this. Stay friendly to the quarterback, right? Get this back shoulder to the quarterback more so you can attack this football more instead of this being uh, tougher than it needs to be. First and 10. Giants moving quickly. Not sure if it was a catch or not. They go back to that same constant again. Condensed look, right? Two receivers, two tights. It's quick outs on both sides, right? And again, Daniel Jones just making a quick decision versus an off corner versus condensed look. He's getting depth. Good job putting the football on Malik Neighbors for a good completion again, getting up the field for a good, good, good uh, chunk of yards. Couldn't speak right there. 
First and 10. And these are things that, that I, I think Dayball did a great job of mixing into the play calls. Uh, so we get a bunch formation here, basically, right, by the New York Giants. Uh, we're getting some sort of four down look, single safety middle zone again. Oh, it might be man. The man's traveling with him. And we are getting fake inside zone. And we're just allowing the pass rush by the Cleveland Browns to get up the field. And this tight end is blocking, delays for a second. Daniel Jones buying time, throws the tight end, the nice delay screen, and then good blocking up the field for the New York Giants out there on the edge. Good catch right here. Daniel Jones might have thrown this a little, little too hard, but good adjustment there. Way to get up field by Theo Johnson. Excited for Theo Johnson too. Thinks think that he could do a lot of good stuff for this offense as he, you know, continues to to gain confidence and you know they build build some of these plays around him too. So empty formation. Here's one of those plays that we were discussing earlier where you know the Giants missed out on and like these are the plays that like they just can't miss out on, especially in these situations right against good defenses on the road. Uh, so we have an empty formation. Right. And again, we have that that look where it looks like it's essentially man coverage. Everyone's kind of head up uh, to the guy in front of them. Single safety middle. We have a four man rush here. And all we're getting here is just wide and fade and, and a hitch route here. And Malik neighbors wins immediately. And Daniel Jones just misses him over the top. But th this should have been a walk-in touchdown for the New York Giants. The missed opportunity for them for sure. And I just thought with Daniel Jones and his technique, you know, for young QBs out there that may be watching this, just feel like he kind of pulled his momentum back as he was following through this. Um, and, you know, as you kind of see him throw, you kind of see that he kind of like leans away with it at the exact same time. But, you know, just a missed opportunity. Can't miss these. Got to give the guy an opportunity to catch the football and run uh, for an explosive play. But I like the Giants, though, spreading the football field out as much as po possible horizontally, right, and making the read, again, easy for their quarterback to play fast. So motion, get the tight end in the backfield. So two tight ends, two receivers, one back, 12 personnel. All right. And then we got three deep look again, four under, right? So essentially an eight-man box. Really good blocking by the Giants offensively here. You know, and, and these were these were tough yards for them on the ground all day in this football game. Eight-man box. Good job by Schmitz blocking down, guard pulling around. Really nice. Good down block here. You can see, too, like it's just tough sledding for the Giants, right? Tight end's going across, and he's going to get try to get a piece of Miles Garrett here and cutting him. Actually ends up cutting the defensive tackle that Schmitz blocking. But still, just bodies flying, which is key, right? Good job right here, right, of getting up to that second level, right, getting hands on. And then way to follow your block and get vertical. And then Slayton, really good job blocking up the field too. So good just overall uh, team running there on that one to get out of a, a tough situation, right, backed up. First and 10 situation, empty formation again. Love these looks again, right? So again, head up. Head up, head up, all the way across the board. Single safety middle, four-man rush. Some sort of zone or man. And we get a nice little little pick play again. So we're going to dive in, run essentially like a little, little snag route, and then a flat route right off of that. They're playing a catch technique. And now the Cleveland Browns defender has to kind of go through his own teammate to get to cover the flat since they were playing off. And Wandell Robinson catch the football, getting vertical for a first down. And 
And another indicator or two, just what, what coverage is it when we send that back out there? Who goes with him? A linebacker. So typically when we have that look, we're expecting some sort of man coverage. Good job by Wandell catching, getting up the field. Good accurate throw again by Daniel Jones, too, on, on those throws. Accuracy is so important on the, those quick hitting throws. Back right here, going in motion. Empty formation again. Who's traveling with him? A linebacker. Man coverage we're expecting again with the four-man rush. And I love this concept right here. We got Malik Neighbors just running a little quick choice route. I'm sure with this one, he could break in, break out, or hook up versus zone. Defense is playing uh, slightly outside leverage on him, so he is going to set him up, be patient, and just cross face, present the one to Daniel Jones, put on the body, and move forward for a completion. And this will be another aspect of this concept, though, too, going forward right, is they have goes on the outside, goes on the outside. So you have the one-on-one opportunities if you like them. Uh, but more importantly, I think going forward is, you know, Daniel Jones, eventually teams are going to know, all right, they're trying to get the football to Malik Neighbors versus man coverage look. Look him off, make this backer go, and then throw this football to Wandell on this through route here for an even bigger completion which would be an explosive play because then it's going to Wandell versus the safety. And even Wandell, I think, even knew too. It was like, damn, I could have had uh, a big one right there by the look that they had, right? Single safety middle right there. Backer goes out. Owusu Koromora is all eyes on Daniel Jones. Daniel Jones, look to Malik Neighbors. Make it so obvious. Make him go and then replace him with the throw right over the middle to Wandell. So I think that's like that next level of understanding and awareness of just, you know, how to take advantage of a talented young receiver that the defense will be aware of and then how to build into the offense even more explosively and even see Wandell too. He's like, damn, that was a missed one. First and 10. Motion. Thinking some sort of man coverage again. So it started in bunch. They're pointing the bunch, probably playing in and out on the bunch. Motion, travel with them. And then we're getting a late uh, add-on here, pressure. So it's a five-man pressure by the Cleveland Browns. Playing man coverage behind it. Shallow cross for Malik Neighbors in this look. And for Daniel Jones, I mean, all it is is just it's just shallow to the OTB to probably this hook right here is his read. And, you know, these are these are the plays again. We're just like can't miss these opportunities for whatever reason. We're late seeing the pressure by one of the best defensive players on the defense here. Eyes get stuck for whatever reason looking inside by the right tackle. Owusu Koromora is running right off the edge untouched. Uh, if we protect this up a little bit, this is a easy completion to Malik Neighbors on a shallow cross for another explosive play versus an off corner versus man coverage. The pressure affects the throw. Malik's not able to catch it. And another missed opportunity by the Giants of hitting an explosive pass play. So we get caught eyes inside. Not really sure why. Uh, and yeah, I mean, you know, he is one of the best players on their team. Again, a simple five man rush versus a six man protection. And we're rushing off the spot. Good job. Just avoiding disaster with a strip sack fumble manipulating the arm. But that's also what affects the throw missed opportunity by the Giants in the passing attack there. Third and eight, 21, 15 late in the football game. And this is. You know, a great example, again, too, of just, you know, the Browns are desperate to win this football game and to cause some chaos now because they're down. And they have a wide four-man rush split here. So defensive tackles are basically, basically like wide threes or even four eyes in, in, in this instance. Uh, huge open space here. Everyone else is manned up, right, with their guy head up. And... This guy right here is actually playing the back. I mean, uh, they're they're actually going to say we're not covering the back. This guy's playing the tight end, uh, and they're going to do the 
hey diddle diddle three up the middle pressure here so wide rush here we get two backers up the field the safety is going to add on right here from depth uh, so it's essentially cover zero Daniel Jones buys times get gets depth in the pocket and then just misses Wandell up the field too much here on this throw I think Daniel just threw this one a little bit too hard um, you know he's trying to react to the man pressure I mean to the pressure of cover zero and for this one just just kind of sit back, throw it soft over the middle. You know that it's cover zero by the look that we got and just give your guy an opportunity to catch the football over there. Easier said than done because uh, you'll see here from the end zone too just how quickly all this kind of collapses on him. Uh, and this is where I think the Giants, like going forward, we'll see if maybe they do something differently to combat, you know, this double a look right with this wide alignment by the defensive tackles and ends we know something is up here in the middle of the field we gotta somehow slow down the two backers through the a gaps here uh it's tough for the back to get there and to get you know any sort of effect to help the passer when he's blocking the guy four or five yards into the backfield and then yeah daniel just misses a little too hard i think uh, but, man, another big opportunity missed by the New York Giants in this situation. And then 21 to 15, we get the little bunch set. We're faking that potential speed sweep look that we saw earlier to Malik Neighbors. And then we're doing the little pitch to the outside here. And this is just a good job of just pushing guys where they want to go. The Browns reacting fast, getting off the edge, right, getting up the field. Good job getting a push there late. And then Devin Singletary doing a good job of just running through arm tackles, staying in bounds, and then doing the smart heads-up play with the slide so the Giants can kneel and win the football game. So fake the speed sweep. We're pitching. Tackle and guard are pulling. Slate and good job blocking out. Good job by the tackle. Good job by the guard getting around, getting a hat on, and then giving Singletary that, that momentum to run through these arm tackles late. And again, the slide to seal the game. So overall, really good win for the Giants on the road against a very talented defense. Uh, and a lot of plays, obviously, that were made and a few plays that were left in the field. Uh, but excited for the Giants to get the dub in this one. This was a fun game to watch. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, check out these games uh, going forward. We're going to do more Jets and Giants breakdowns after each, each of their games this season.